The battlefield is changing. Around the world militaries are turning to robots. The Philippines is no different. The Armed Forces of the Philippines or AFP are bringing robots into their ranks. These machines offer new ways to fight and win wars. Robots can go where humans fear to tread. They can disarm bombs, scout enemy territory, and even strike from afar. This is changing how the AFP operates. Robots are becoming crucial tools in the Philippines' fight for security. This new era of warfare comes with big questions. How will robots change the way the AFP fights? What are the risks and benefits of robotic warfare? This essay will explore the rise of military robots in the Philippines. We'll analyze their capabilities, their impact, and the challenges they bring. The AFP is deploying robots on the ground. These advanced machines are transforming the way military operations are conducted, providing a technological edge in various scenarios. These unmanned ground vehicles, or UGVs, perform several vital roles. From reconnaissance missions to bomb disposal, they are versatile tools that enhance the capabilities of the armed forces. One such robot is the Remotech Andros F6A. Known for its reliability and precision, this robot has become an essential asset in the field. This American-made machine is a bomb disposal expert. It has been specifically designed to handle and neutralize explosive threats, ensuring the safety of both soldiers and civilians. It uses its robotic arm to disable explosive devices safely. The precision and control offered by the robotic arm make it an invaluable tool in high-risk situations. The AFP has used the Andros F6A in counter-terrorism operations. Its ability to operate in dangerous environments makes it a critical component in the fight against terrorism. It has defused bombs planted by groups like the Abu Sayyaf. The robot's effectiveness in these scenarios has saved countless lives and prevented significant damage. The robot protects soldiers and civilians from harm. By taking on the most dangerous tasks, it allows human personnel to stay out of harm's way. Another UGV used by the AFP is the iRobot 510 Packbot. This compact and agile robot is designed to perform a variety of tasks in the field. This versatile robot is small and lightweight. Its portability allows it to be easily deployed in various situations, making it a flexible tool for the military. The Packbot can be equipped with cameras, sensors, and even weapons. These features enable it to gather intelligence, perform surveillance, and engage in combat if necessary. The AFP uses it for reconnaissance and surveillance. Its advanced sensors and cameras provide real-time data, helping to inform strategic decisions. It can slip into dangerous areas and provide valuable intelligence. This capability is crucial for planning and executing missions with minimal risk to human life. The Philippines is also developing its own UGVs. Local engineers are working tirelessly to create robots that meet the specific needs of the country's military. These locally made robots are designed for the country's unique environment. They are tailored to handle the diverse and challenging terrains found in the Philippines, ensuring optimal performance in all conditions. Unmanned Aerial Systems or UAS, commonly known as drones, are revolutionizing warfare. These advanced pieces of technology have transformed the way military operations are conducted, providing new capabilities and enhancing existing ones. From surveillance to combat, drones are now an integral part of modern military strategy. The Armed Forces of the Philippines, or AFP, has been quick to adopt this technology. Recognizing the strategic advantages that drones offer, the AFP has integrated them into various aspects of their operations. This adoption is part of a broader effort to modernize the military and improve its operational effectiveness. One of the drones in the AFP's arsenal is the Boeing in C2 Scan Eagle. This particular model has been chosen for its reliability and versatility in various mission profiles. The Scan Eagle is a testament to how far drone technology has come, offering capabilities that were once the stuff of science fiction. This small lightweight drone is launched from a catapult, a method that allows for rapid deployment in the field. The catapult launch system is particularly useful in areas where traditional runways are not available, making the Scan Eagle highly adaptable to different environments. The Scan Eagle is designed for long endurance surveillance. Its ability to stay in the air for extended periods makes it an invaluable asset for continuous monitoring and intelligence gathering. This capability is crucial for missions that require persistent observation over large areas. It can stay aloft for over 20 hours, providing a significant advantage in terms of operational flexibility. This long flight time allows the AFP to conduct prolonged surveillance missions without the need for frequent refueling or maintenance breaks. This makes it ideal for monitoring coastlines and tracking enemy movements. The ability to cover vast areas and provide real-time data is essential for maintaining situational awareness and responding to threats effectively. The AFP has deployed the Scan Eagle in operations against pirates and insurgents. These missions often require precise intelligence and the ability to act quickly. 
both of which are facilitated by the use of drones, the Scan Eagle has proven to be a valuable tool in these challenging environments. In addition to the Scan Eagle, the AFP also uses DJI Enterprise drones. These drones are known for their versatility and ease of use, making them suitable for a wide range of applications. The AFP has leveraged these commercially available drones to enhance their operational capabilities. These commercially available drones are more affordable and easier to deploy. Their cost-effectiveness allows the AFP to maintain a larger fleet, ensuring that they have the necessary resources to respond to various situations. The ease of deployment also means that these drones can be quickly put into action when needed. The AFP uses them for a variety of tasks, including search and rescue, damage assessment, and even aerial photography. These drones have proven to be invaluable in humanitarian missions, providing critical information and support in times of need. Their versatility makes them a key component of the AFP's operational toolkit. The Philippines is also looking to develop its own armed drone capabilities. This initiative aims to enhance the AFP's ability to conduct precision strikes and improve their overall combat effectiveness. Developing indigenous drone technology is a strategic move to reduce dependency on foreign suppliers and ensure that the AFP has the tools it needs to protect the nation. This would give the AFP a more potent strike capability. Armed drones can provide a significant advantage in combat scenarios, offering precision targeting and reducing the risk to human soldiers. As the AFP continues to modernize, the development and integration of armed drones will play a crucial role in their future operations. The Philippine Navy is also exploring the use of robotics. Unmanned surface vessels, or USVs, are being considered for maritime patrol. These robotic boats can patrol large areas of ocean autonomously. They can be equipped with sensors and cameras to detect illegal fishing, smuggling, and other threats. Underwater, the Philippine Navy is using remotely operated vehicles, or ROVs. These tethered robots are used for underwater inspection and exploration. They can be equipped with sonar and cameras to inspect ship hulls, search for underwater mines, and explore the ocean depths. The use of robotics by the Philippine Navy is still in its early stages. However, as technology advances, we can expect to see more robots deployed in the country's waters. Section 5, the home team Filipino Robotics takes off. The Philippines isn't just buying robots from other countries, it's building its own. Filipino engineers and scientists are working on cutting-edge robotics technology. The Department of Science and Technology, or DOST, is leading the charge. One of DOST's key projects is the development of a multi-purpose unmanned ground vehicle, or MPUGV. This robot is designed for a variety of missions, including disaster response, surveillance, and even agricultural tasks. The MPUGV is a testament to the growing capabilities of the Filipino robotics industry. The development of indigenous robots is essential for the armed forces of the Philippines. It reduces reliance on foreign suppliers and ensures that robots are tailored to the country's specific needs. Section 6. The Future of War. What's next for AFP robots? The future of robotics in the AFP is bright. With rapid advancements in technology, the landscape of military operations is set to change dramatically. Robots are no longer just a concept of science fiction, they are becoming an integral part of modern warfare. The integration of robotics into the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, is a testament to this evolution. The Philippines is committed to investing in this technology. The government recognizes the potential of robotics to enhance national security and is allocating significant resources to develop and acquire advanced robotic systems. This investment is not just about keeping up with global trends, but also about ensuring that the AFP remains capable and ready to face future challenges. We can expect to see more advanced robots joining the ranks in the coming years. These robots will be equipped with cutting-edge technology, enabling them to perform a variety of tasks, from reconnaissance missions to direct combat roles. The versatility and efficiency of these machines will be a game-changer for the AFP. One area of focus is artificial intelligence, or AI. AI is revolutionizing the way military operations are conducted. By integrating AI into robotic systems, the AFP can enhance the decision-making capabilities of these machines, allowing them to operate with greater autonomy and precision. AI-powered robots will be able to make decisions and take actions with minimal human intervention. This means that in high-stress or dangerous situations, robots can take the lead, reducing the risk to human soldiers. The ability to process vast amounts of data in real time and make informed decisions will be a significant advantage on the battlefield. This will free up human soldiers for more complex tasks. Instead of focusing on routine or hazardous duties, soldiers can concentrate on strategic planning and execution. 
The synergy between human soldiers and robots will create a more efficient and effective military force. Another area of development is swarming technology. This innovative approach involves deploying groups of robots that can work together autonomously. These swarms can be used for a variety of purposes, from surveillance to direct engagement with enemy forces. This involves deploying groups of robots that can work together autonomously. The coordination and communication within these swarms allow for complex operations to be carried out with high efficiency. Each robot in the swarm can perform specific tasks, creating a cohesive and formidable unit. Imagine a swarm of drones overwhelming enemy defenses, or a team of robots clearing a building of hostiles. The possibilities are endless. These scenarios, once the stuff of futuristic movies, are now within the realm of possibility thanks to advancements in robotics and AI. The AFP is also looking into acquiring more sophisticated robots such as unmanned combat aerial vehicles or UCAVs. These aerial robots can provide critical support in combat situations, offering reconnaissance, surveillance, and even direct engagement capabilities. These armed drones would give the Philippines a significant military advantage. By leveraging the power of UCAVs, the AFP can conduct operations with greater precision and reduced risk to human life. The future of AFP robots is not just about technology, it's about creating a safer and more effective military force. Section 7. The Price of Progress. Maintaining the Machine. While robots offer many advantages, they also come with challenges. One of the biggest challenges is maintenance. Military robots are complex machines that require specialized skills and equipment to maintain. The AFP needs to invest in training its personnel to maintain and repair these systems. Otherwise, it risks being left with a fleet of inoperable robots. Another challenge is the cost of spare parts. Many of these robots are made in other countries, making spare parts expensive and difficult to obtain. The AFP needs to develop a sustainable supply chain for spare parts to ensure the operational readiness of its robotic systems. Section 8. Can you hack a robot? Security in the unmanned age. Cybersecurity is another major concern. Like any computer system, military robots are vulnerable to hacking. A successful cyber attack could disable a robot or even worse, turn it against its operators. The AFP needs to invest in robust cybersecurity measures to protect its robotic systems. This includes securing communication links, encrypting data, and regularly updating software. The consequences of a cybersecurity breach could be catastrophic. A hacked robot could be used to gather intelligence, disrupt operations, or even cause physical harm. Section 9. Conclusion. A robot in every foxhole? The rise of military robots is changing the face of warfare. The AFP is embracing this technology, deploying robots on land, at sea, and in the air. These robots offer numerous advantages, enhancing the AFP's capabilities in various domains. However, they also present challenges in terms of maintenance, sustainability, and cybersecurity. The AFP must address these challenges to fully realize the potential of military robotics. As technology continues to advance we can expect to see even more sophisticated robots joining the AFP's ranks. The future of warfare is unmanned, and the Philippines is preparing for this new era.